at the clinical level, one experience that stood out from my uh, husband days, we admitted patients usually overnight and then in the morning we had a ward round with a consultant and I was talking about this young African boy who was about in his teens and he'd come in and I said he was extremely uncooperative, he wouldn't open his mouth, I couldn't see what his throat looked like and I couldn't examine his abdomen because he was very uncooperative and wouldn't relax and so on and then the consultant looked at me and said I think you'd better put him in the side ward, he's got tetanus and I'd completely missed the classical case of tetanus with a rigid mouth and unable to open his jaw, rigid abdomen but uh, it adds to one's life experience. The other case that's just come back to mind actually <coughs> When uh, we admitted patients overnight, we usually had five or six new admissions and we'd sort of clock them up and so on. And the following day, actually, I was going to be away because of uh, my sister getting married or some such important family affair. So I finished all these cases and the last one I had had come in for a gastrectomy. In those days, they were removing the whole stomach uh, to treat peptic ulcers and the, our professor of surgery actually was a very great enthusiast of these uh, removals and operations and so I took a history from this patient, examined him very carefully and then it must have been about four in the morning and I was just about finishing off and then I felt what I thought was a lump in the abdomen and I very carefully palpated it and then I wrote in big letters at the bottom, query cancer of the pancreas and, uh, and left it at that. And then when I came back after the weekend, the registrar told me how pleased they were that I had noted that because in fact the patient was found to have a cancer of the pancreas and he still had his stomach intact, which he would have lost otherwise if uh, they just went ahead with the operation. So uh, it's always important to do a full clinical examination under all circumstances because you know, the old dictum is if you don't notice things when they don't happen, don't matter, uh, you won't notice them when they do matter. So it's important to be a little bit sort of perfectionist.